you have a clog in your tub drain, which I recently had, this is the tool to use. And what you do with it is you wind it like this. It actually comes out. It's got this long kind of like in the movie Alien, this sort of thing that comes out. And then you twist it like this. And this little guy burrows into the drain looking for stuff. And when it finds it, it gets wrapped right around these coils, which is great. So you have to turn this thing in a clockwise direction so that it can burrow in and find the clog. And then as you're pulling it out, you have to keep turning it clockwise, or else if you do this to try to free it, you'll get the, the clog will get off the end of the thing. That's no fun at all, because the whole point of this is to see what the heck is down there. Okay, so I'll just demonstrate how this is used. First of all, you have to take this um, the drain um, cap thing, I forget what it's called, but you have to take it out. And to do that, you'll need a pair of needle nose pliers, because the way that these are seated is that they're um, actually screwed in. So you simply unscrew it, which gives you a lot more room to work, of course, because it's hard to get that little thing in around, in through the little holes. Now, at this point in your journey, you might be thinking about putting gloves on. It's a really good idea. Because the stuff that comes out of drains isn't something you want to get on you. Not anywhere. Now, bear with me, because this is the kind of trajectory that the toilet auger, or is that what this is? I think it's a toilet auger, a drain auger. It has to go into this thing and it has to take this p-trap corner and it's very awkward to get the thing around there and I've witnessed a real live plumber in my own home do this and it it gets ugly all right so the first thing to do I've removed my socks in a sort of a, a gesture of respect to plumbing in general <coughs> because I think I could get a soaker here so you find the entry point and you just, okay, it's time to start turning because it'll find its own way along the pipes if you just turn it, we hope. So grasping it firmly, of course, wearing the latex gloves is no good at all because they just get there, just with one glove on. truth is this drain isn't clogged I just wanted to demonstrate this technique it was just a whim I, I had and so I've done that now as I'm trying to pull it out I'm still turning it clockwise and attention from other family members, just come up into the bathroom, shut the door, and get in the tub and make these sounds. Okay, now as I'm, uh, as I'm trying to pull it back, I'm, I'm going to tighten it down here a little bit so that it, it can't keep pulling out more slack. There's nothing on it. Well, that's okay, because there was no clog in the drain. Now, if you don't want to buy one of these things, if this little demonstration hasn't inspired you, and you're just not the type for one of these, I got an alternative technique that I want to show you. You've probably got a hose already. So what you do is you get yourself a helper, and uh, put the helper down at the hose bib, feed the hose through a window, if this happens to be a second floor. And uh, what you have to do is you have to put the hose in the drain, and then you have to pack it. This is the important part, because otherwise you're going to have a face full. You have to pack it with rags around the, um, the drain. You have to force as much rag as possible down into the hole around and about the, um, the hose, like this. Now, you notice I got this double kink working for me here. That's a really good move, I must say, because when that water comes on, it's going to pack some pressure. 
Okay. All right, so now I cue my helper. <clears throat> Turn on the water, please. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna suddenly straighten the hose out really fast. Ready? And then <laughs> go like this again. <laughs> because what that does is it sends a blast of water into the drain and it dislodges the clog if you're in luck, okay? Then if it, then you should try it again because it was fun the first time. Like that, see, I got a bit of a geyser happening that time, which tells me, you know, if I really did have a clog, the clog is still there. Okay, and then eventually, you pull things out, things are now flowing, the clog is well on its way to the lake or wherever the sewage discharges. And at this point, you have to remember the vital command. Please turn off the water. Okay, now, let's go back to the drain. Because at this point, you have to replace the, the, um, this guy, the drain. And to do that, we want to dry the, um, the little area where he's going to be reseated. Excuse me, pardon me. All right. There's something. Oh, no. <laughs> just see what just happened. Okay, but there was a rubber uh, gasket there that, are, uh, that I just pushed. Okay, we've been to the hardware store. We've, we've coughed up the eight bucks for the replacement kit because you can't get the gasket by itself. You have to buy the whole, the two pieces. So, you know, be more careful than I am. <laughs> All right, so I'm fitting this gasket in between the tub and the stub up for the drain. And that's going to seal the space between the two when the threads are, are going to suck up the, this piece, which is a bit um, mobile. Um, and then we use plumber's putty, which is this stuff, and it uh, forms a watertight seal. So I'm going to place um, a bit of plumber's putty under here. It wasn't on the original one. I'm not sure why, but it should have been. So I'll use my latex gloves. This stuff isn't, isn't too foul at all, but, um, you know, it's like a bit icky. All right, so you, you don't want to use too much of this. You, you, you have to use it. You know what? I can't, I can't roll this stuff with these gloves on. I'm always, oops. <laughs> it goes all down my legs. Okay, there it is. And y you want to use a subtle amount. Because all you're really doing is putting enough of it to block any water from seeping under. You can either put it on, on the rim of this thing, or you can put it on the white part on the porcelain. All right, so I'm putting it back in place, and I'm just going to re-thread this. Ooh, it looks all shiny and pretty now. And then I'll tighten it finally with my needle nose pliers. And then we're done. And wasn't that an interesting venture down plumbing lane? Okay, so I'm not going to over tighten that because I know that the plumber's putty is, is forming the seal. So I don't have to be too aggressive with uh, threading that too tightly. Okay, that's it. Plumbing. <laughs> no more. No more. Clearing a clogged bathtub drain is something I don't, I'm not going to wish on you, but if it does happen, get a good helper and use the hose technique, or um, if you want a little bit more irritation in your day, go for the, the auger. <laughs> Time. Okay, so I'm hoping that... <laughs> Could you please turn off the water? <laughs> you got to get a better helper. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just going to go over to that window and I'm going to Turn the water on my helper now. <laughs>